Hello, I am Miss Ian, and welcome to Tasty Tales, our virtual story time. How are you today? I'm glad you're doing well. I'm doing well too. In this program, each week we do a story time all about everyone's favorite thing, food. We'll sing songs, do rhymes, and read some books. One great way to build literacy skills is to have the closed captioning on when watching videos, TV, or movies. So go ahead and click that closed caption button, and then let's get started. We are going to start by singing our welcome song, Hands Are Clapping. It goes like this. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Clap your hands, my darling. Do you want to try? Okay, let's sing together. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Clap your hands, my darling. Very good. Now we're going to tap the toes of our feet. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Tap your toes, my darling. Very good. Now we are going to wiggle our fingers. Fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle your fingers, my darling. Very good. Now we're going to play peekaboo. Eyes are hiding, peekaboo. Eyes are hiding, peekaboo. Eyes are hiding, peekaboo. Peekaboo, my darling. Good job. Now we are going to play our shape game. Behind one of these shapes is our theme for today's story time. Can you help me find our theme? You can. That's great. Do you see any squares? Are there any squares? Is this a square? Is this a yellow square? That's right. This is a yellow square. Do you think our theme is behind our yellow square? Let's see. No. It's not behind our yellow square. Do you see any green shapes? Are there any green shapes? Is this green? Is this a green star? That's right, this is a green star. Do you think our theme is behind our green star? Let's see. No, it's not behind our green star. Do you see any circles? Are there any circles? Is this a circle? Is this a red circle? That's right, this is a red circle. Do you think our theme is behind our red circle? Let's see. No, it's not behind our red circle. Do you see any blue shapes? Are there any blue shapes? Is this a blue shape? Is this a blue triangle? That's right, this is a blue triangle. Do you think our theme is behind our blue triangle? Let's see. It is! Yay! We found our theme. Our symbol today is a pizza because today's story time is all about pizza. Now we are going to do an action line called Pizza Man, Pizza Man. Can you stand up please? Great. It goes like this. Pizza man, pizza man, turn around. And you're going to turn around in a circle. Pizza man, pizza man, touch the ground. And you're going to touch the ground. Pizza man, pizza man, reach up high. Put your hands above your head. Pizza man, pizza man, touch the sky. And stand up on your tippy toes. Pizza man, pizza man, find your nose. Find your nose. Pizza man, pizza man, touch your toes and touch your toes. Pizza man, pizza man, find your knees, touch your knees. Pizza man, pizza man, sit down please. And go ahead and sit down either on the ground or in a chair. Are you ready to try it? Okay, let's do it together. Here we go. Pizza man, pizza man, turn around. 
Pizza man, pizza man, touch the ground. Pizza man, pizza man, reach up high. Pizza man, pizza man, touch the sky. Pizza man, pizza man, find your nose. Pizza man, pizza man, touch your toes. Pizza man, pizza man, find your knees. Pizza man, pizza man, sit down, please. Good job. Pete the Cat and the Perfect Pizza Party by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete the Cat loves pizza. Pete the Cat loves parties too. Pete had an idea of what he could do. What do you think his idea is if he loves pizza and parties? Oh, that's a good guess. Let's see. He would have the perfect pizza party. You are invited to Pete's pizza party. Fun, games, music, bring your swimsuit. Does that party sound like fun? I think so too. Pete's friends all arrived. It was time to build the perfect pizza together. That would make the pizza even better. Pete thought the perfect pizza would be pepperoni with extra cheese. Do you want to count how many slices of pepperoni he's putting on the pizza? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good counting. Do you like pepperoni on your pizza? I do too. It's a purry, a purry, a pepperoni pizza purry. But everyone did not agree. Callie said pepperoni would be just fine, but I really love pretzels on mine. Have you ever had pretzels on a pizza? No, we don't put pretzels on pizza. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pretzels? Well, that's something new, but maybe pretzels could be groovy too. It's a purry, a purry, a pepperoni pretzel pizza purry. Ooh, what are the different things that they are using as inflatables? Yep, they've got a pizza, a shark, a hearse, a flamingo, a duck, and some flowers. Those are funny. School said pepperoni and pretzels would be just fine. But I really love pistachios on mine. Do we put pistachios on pizza? No, we don't put pistachios on pizza. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pistachios? Well, that's something new. But maybe pistachios could be groovy too. It's a purry, a purry, a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pizza purry. Let's count how many pretzels they put on the pizza. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grumpy Toad said pepperoni, pretzels, and pistachios would be just fine. But I really love pickles on mine. Do we put pickles on pizza? No, we don't put pickles on pizza. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pickles? Well, that's something new. But maybe pickles could be groovy too. It's a purry, a purry, a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pickle pizza purry. This is a very long pizza purry. Let's count how many pickles they added. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good counting. Gus said, Pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, and pickles would be just fine, but I really love popcorn on mine. Do we put popcorn on pizza? No, we don't put popcorn on pizza. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Popcorn? Well, that's something new, but maybe popcorn could be groovy too. 
It's a peri, a peri, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, pizza peri. What color balloons do they have? That's right, they have blue, red, green, purple, and orange. Good job identifying colors. Alligator said, pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, pickles, and popcorn would be just fine. But I really love papaya on mine. Do we put papaya on pizza? No, we don't put papaya on pizza. Now Pete and the gang were really puzzled. Papaya? Well, that's something new, but maybe papaya could be groovy too. It's a purry, a purry, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, papaya pizza purry. Pete and the gang piled the pepperoni, pretzels, pistachio, pickles, popcorn, and papaya on top. The pizza was so high that they had to stop. Ding! Can you go ding like an oven timer? Ding! Good job. The pizza was done. Trying something new might be fun. They all built up the courage to take a first bite. And the pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, papaya pizza was... What do you think? Do you think they like the pizza? Let's see. Out of sight, dynamite, just right. Oh good, they like the pizza. In the end, the perfect pizza is a pizza shared with friends. The end. Now, we are going to do a finger play about making pizza called Pizza Man. It goes like this. Patty cake, patty cake, pizza man. And clap your hands. Bake me a pizza as fast as you can. And shake your finger. Roll it, pretend to roll out the pizza go. Toss it, pretend to toss the pizza go in the, up in the air. And sprinkle it with cheese. Pretend to sprinkle on the cheese. And put it in the oven. Pretend to push the pizza into the oven and bake it fast, please. And tap your, your wrist with your finger like you're looking at your watch. Are you ready to try? Okay, let's do it together. Patty cake, patty cake, pizza man. Bake me a pizza as fast as you can. Roll it and toss it and sprinkle it with cheese. And put it in the oven and bake it fast, please. Good job! Now, we are going to do a rhyme all about selling pizzas in a pizza shop. Can you help me count how many pizzas we have? One, two, three, four, five. That's right, we have five pizzas, and this is called Five Little Pizzas. It goes like this. There were five little pizzas in the pizza shop, you know, the ones with the cheese and sausage on top. Along came Tom with the penny to pay. He bought a pizza and ran away. Now how many pizzas do we have? One, two, three, four. There were four little pizzas in the pizza shop, you know, the ones with the cheese and sausage on top. Along came Tom with the penny to pay. He bought a pizza and ran away. Now how many pizzas do we have? One, two, three. There were three little pizzas in the pizza shop. You know the ones with the cheese and sausage on top. Along came Tom with the penny to pay. He bought a pizza and ran away. Now how many pizzas do we have? One, two. There were two little pizzas in the pizza shop. You know the ones with the cheese and sausage on top. Along came Tom with the penny to pay. He bought a pizza and ran away. Now how many pizzas do we have? One. There was one little pizza in the pizza shop. You know the ones with the cheese and sausage on top. Along came Tom with the penny to pay. He bought a pizza and ran away. Now how many pizzas do we have? Zero. We do not have any pizzas. 
There were no little pizzas in the pizza shop, you know, the ones with the cheese and sausage and cap. No one came with the penny to pay, so close the pizza shop and have a nice day. Good job! Now, we are going to sing a song all about the man who lives on the moon. This is called Aching Drum, and it goes like this. Can you clap your hands? There was a man who lived on the moon, on the moon, on the moon. Yes, there was a man who lived on the moon, and his name was Aching Drum. And his eyes were made of pizza pies, of pizza pies, of pizza pies. Yes, his eyes were made of pizza pies, and his name was Aching Drum. And his hair was made of spaghetti. Of spaghetti, of spaghetti. Yes, his hair was made of spaghetti, and his name was Aching Drum. Are you ready to sing? Okay, let's sing together. There was a man who lived on the moon, on the moon, on the moon. Yes, there was a man who lived on the moon, and his name was Aching Drum. And his eyes were made of pizza pies, of pizza pies, of pizza pies. Yes, his eyes were made of pizza pies, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his hair was made of spaghetti, of spaghetti, of spaghetti. Yes, his hair was made of spaghetti, and his name was Aiken Drum. Good job! Pizza by Frank Ash. One evening, Papa Bear said, Let's all go out for dinner. Where shall we go? asked Mama Bear. There's a new pizza parlor in town, replied Papa Bear. Let's eat there. Pizza? What's pizza? asked Baby Bear. How would you describe pizza to Baby Bear? That's a good description. You've never had pizza before, said Papa Bear. You're in for a treat. But what if I don't like pizza, asked Baby Bear. Do I have to eat it anyway? Do you ever feel that way? I feel that way sometimes too, where I'm afraid to try something new. Don't worry, dear, said Mama Bear. You'll like pizza. Baby Bear thought the pizza parlor smelled nice. The Bear family sat down at a small round table and ordered a large cheese pizza. While they waited for the pizza to arrive, Baby Bear drew on the paper placemat with crayons. What colored crayons does he have? That's right, he has blue, red, green, and yellow. Oh, and there's his beautiful picture. Finally, a waiter brought the pizza to the table. Nice and hot, he said. Then, Papa Bear cut Baby Bear a slice of pizza. Let it cool for a while, said Mama Bear as she blew on Baby Bear's slice. If you don't, you might burn your mouth. When his slice of pizza was cool enough, Baby Bear took a big bite. Chomp! Can you take a big bite with Baby Bear? Chomp! Do you think Baby Bear liked pizza? Let's see. He had never tasted anything so yummy. It was so yummy. Baby Bear felt like he was floating on a cloud. Well asked Mama Bear. Do you like pizza? Like it, cried Baby Bear. I love it. On the way home, Baby Bear couldn't stop thinking about pizza. He thought the moon looked like a big yellow pizza. The wheels on the cars all looked like pizzas. Even the manhole covers reminded him of pizza. Why do you think the moon the wheels and the manhole cover all reminded him of pizza. That's right, they're all circles. 
Can you just show me some other circles we have in this picture? Looks like we've got the unicycle, the balloon, the clock, the peace sign, the wheels, the sun, this banjo, the sign. Good job. That night, as he lay fast asleep in his bag, Baby Bear dreamed that a giant pizza spaceship landed in his backyard. In his dream, he went outside to investigate. When the spaceship hatch opened, out marched three alien chefs. One was from the planet Crouton. Try my macaroni and cheese pizza, he said. No, no, said a chef from the asparagus galaxy. Try my peanut butter and jelly pizza. Forget about their pizzas, said a third chef from the planet beyond the lobster nebula. Try my chocolate chip pizza. Which pizza would you most want to eat? A mac and cheese pizza? A peanut butter and jelly pizza? Or a chocolate chip pizza? You would? I would too. Just then, Papa Bear called, Wake up, baby bear, it's breakfast time. Baby Bear jumped out of bed, got trust, and ran downstairs. Good morning, Baby Bear, said Mama Bear. Would you like some eggs for breakfast? Do you think Baby Bear wants eggs for breakfast? Let's see. Uh, no thanks, said Baby Bear. How about some nice hot oatmeal, asked Papa Bear. Do you think he wants oatmeal? Let's see. Mm, not this morning, answered Baby Bear. Fruit Club? Cornflakes? asked Mama Bear. Sorry, not interested, said Baby Bear. French toast? Pancakes? Waffles? asked Mama and Papa Bear. No, 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 said Baby Bear. Then what do you want? asked Mama and Papa Bear. What do you think he wants to eat for breakfast? Let's see. Silly mama, silly papa, cried Baby Bear. Don't you know, I want pizza! The end. Now, we are going to sing a song all about wanting pizza called If You Want to Eat Some Pizza. It goes like this. If you want to eat some pizza, clap your hands. If you want to eat some pizza, clap your hands. If you like bubbly cheese, then just say, pizza please. If you want to eat some pizza, clap your hands. Are you ready to try? Okay, let's sing together. If you want to eat some pizza, clap your hands. If you want to eat some pizza, clap your hands. If you like bubbly cheese, then just say, pizza please. If you want to eat some pizza, clap your hands. If you want to eat some pizza, stomp your feet. If you want to eat some pizza, stomp your feet. If you like bubbly cheese, then just say, pizza please. If you want to eat some pizza, stomp your feet. Good job! The little red hen makes a pizza. Retold by Filming Scourgers. Illustrated by Amy Warrog. The little red hen had eaten the last slice of her tasty loaf of bread. She'd sipped a cup of chickweed tea and then taken her nap. Now she was hungry again. So she scratched through her cupboard and sp spied a can of tomato sauce. Why don't I make a lovely little pizza, she said to herself. She rummaged through her pan drawer. There were bread pans, cake pans, muffin pans, frying pans, all kinds of pans, but not one single pan was large and round and flat. Cluck, she said, I need a pizza pan. So she stuck her head out the window. Cluck, good morning, she called. Does anybody have a pizza pan? Quack, not I, said the duck. Woof, not I, said the dog. Meow. Not I, said the cat. What are the animals doing? That's right, they're playing jump rope. 
cluck. Very well then, I'll fetch one myself, said the little rag hen. So she went to the hardware store. She bought a pizza pan, a large mixing bowl, a pizza slicer, and some other stuff. When she got home, she opened the cupboard. She saw beans and rice, sugar and spice, jars of jam and jars of honey, and even pickled eggplant, but no flour. Cluck, she said, I need flour. She stuck her head out the window. Cluck, hello, she said. Hold one to the grocery store and get me some flour. Which of the animals do you think will go? Let's see. Quack, knock I, said the duck. Meow, knock I, said the cat. Woof, knock I, said the dog. Oh, none of the animals will go. Is it nice for the animals to not help her? No, it's not nice. The animals should help her. Cluck. Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the supermarket. She bought some flour, some salt, some oil, and some other stuff. When she got home, she opened the fridge. Cluck, she said, there's cream cheese, blue cheese, string cheese, and Swiss cheese, but no mozzarella. So, what do you think the little red hen will do next? That's a good guess. Let's see. She stuck her head out the window. Cluck. Excuse me, she said. Who will go to the store and buy me some mozzarella? Quack. Not I, said the duck. Woof. Not I, said the dog. Meow. Not I, said the cat. Cluck. Very well, then. I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. How do you think the little red hen feels that none of the animals will help her? That's right, she feels a little sad. She feels sad the animals won't help her. So the little red hen went to the deli. She bought some mozzarella, pepperoni, and olives, some mushrooms, onions, and garlic, a can of eight small anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. What are your favorite toppings to put on a pizza? I like that too. When she got home, the little red hen put her on her apron and stuck her head out the window. Good afternoon, she said. Who will help me make some pizza go? Which of the animals do you think will help her? Let's see. Quack. Young eyes, said the duck. Woof. Young eyes, said the dog. Meow. Young eyes, said the cat. Cluck. Very well then, I'll make it myself said the little red hen. So she put the flour and some other stuff into her mixing bowl and stirred and mixed and mixed and kneaded and kneaded and pounded till she had a big ball of pizza dough. After the dough rose, the little red hen rolled it flat and folded it and rolled it again and again and spun it around her head several times. When the dough was just right, she tossed it way up in the air one last time for good luck and put it in her pizza pan. Can you pretend to toss up the dough into the air for good luck? Oh, good tossing. Then she stuck her head out the window. Cluck, excuse me, she said. Who will help me make the topping? Do you think any of the animals will help her? Let's see. Quack, not I, said the duck. Woof, not I, said the dog. Meow, not I, said the cat. Cluck, very well then, I'll make it myself, said the little rag hen. So she chopped and grated and grated and sliced. Next, she opened her can of tomato sauce and spread it all over the pizza dough. On top of that, she put some grated mozzarella, some sliced pepperoni, some chopped olives, some mushrooms, some onions and garlic, eight small anchovies, and some other stuff. But no pickled eggplant. The little red hen looked at her pizza. It looked just right. So she put it in the oven and sat down to sip a cup of chickweed tree. Pretty soon, a delicious smell drifted from the oven. It filled the room and floated out the window. My lovely little pizza must be ready, she thought. It was lovely, but it was not little. 
That's a big pizza. What do you think the little red hen would do now that her pizza is so big? Let's see. So she stuck her head out the window. Cluck, good evening, she said. Would anybody like some pizza? Can you guess what the duck said? Can you guess what the dog said? Can you guess what the cat said? What do you think they said? That's a good guess. Let's see. They all said, yes, of course. But the cat scraped most of his toppings off. When the pizza was all gone, the little red hen made herself another cup of chickweed tea. Then she asked, Cluck, who will help me do the dishes? Now, can you guess what the duck, the dog, and the cat each said? What should they say? What's the right thing to do? Let's see. They each said, meow. I will. Quack. I will. Woof. I will. The and they did. The end. Thank you so much for coming to this week's Tasty Tales. Did you have fun? I'm glad you had fun. I had fun too. Before we go, let's sing our goodbye song. We wave goodbye like this. It goes like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Do you want to sing together? Okay, let's sing together. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Bye.